Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda and um, I wanted to pull some cards on y'all today and see where the energies are around Halloween. Okay, I have done this reading twice already and I've just had problems with it. Just little bits and pieces and I feel like y'all in some way are saying, because I'm saying on y'all's reading, third time's the champ charm, you know, and that's what y'all are saying. <laughs> That's what I feel it. I pulled out some cards, and I feel like y'all were in y'all's, um, y'all were in y'all's emotions, anxiety, you know, y'all were, y'all were having sleepless nights right now. We got the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Cups. You're wanting to speak your truth to someone, and it is nagging you, okay? There is a lot of information, like, there's a lot of energy around, you know, exchange of information. We have the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands here. There's a lot of movement, y'all. Then we have the Eight of Cups, okay? And this is what your energy is. This is what you're showing up as other than the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I really feel like, I don't know, you're walking away from something. I know that. But I feel like you're walking right into something else. And it's a new beginning. We've got the fool here, right here. Okay. But, back to third time's a charm. Because we have the ten of swords in reverse. So there's something here. I don't think it's what you're walking away from. But there's something here that is not ended. Like it, it you know, the ten of swords upright. It, it was ended, you know. But then you're like... I don't know. It did that end, you know? And you're kind of in your feelings about it, and you're making a choice. Okay. And then we have the King of Wands. He's making plans and deci making decisions, you know, on where next. He's pointing to that map, and he's like, where am I going next? I really feel like your intuition is telling you exactly where you're going next. You know your soul is calling you to do something. And within you, you know exactly where you want to go. Exactly who you want to extend your energy to. You know? Okay. Let's get into this. I also got a new beginning coming. You making a choice to have a new beginning of some sort. Are you having that, you know, finding that courage within you know, and turned in the wheel, the will of fate, you know, this is, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be life changing here, this choice that you're making, it's, it's different, you're bringing this forth, you know, you're not, you're not holding back, I don't see you holding back at all, okay, what is this nine of swords here? Something from your past thinking about something that I think something that made you happy and something that you don't have anymore two sixes this is tied to your soul sixes to me are like home and like soul contracts this could be like a soul contract this is could be where you feel like you're at home you know this could be a person place somewhere that you feel like home at and you're for, you're you're from it, you know. You're not you're not around it. Oh my gosh, where you get it? Page of Swords. Yes, yeah, something in the past. Definitely something in the past. Ace of Cups. What is this expression that you want to make? You're getting creative and you're saying there was some kind of argument in the past. Somebody, you know, there was something that was said that was, um, no, I'm right. No, I'm right. You know, it was some kind of, some kind of just little argument that somebody had. And it broke two people to get apart that were, you know, that were talking. And it's really, really affecting you, I think. 
and you're wanting to come in, you're wanting to get creative and come in and speak your truth, you know, and and bring justice to the situation, balance things back out between the two of you. Oh, that's sweet. What is this Knight of Cups? So there was some kind of argument or some kind of conflict between you and someone in the past. And now you're wanting to come in. You've made a decision. You're coming in. we got two nights. So it's like you haven't got there yet. You know, maybe Halloween you're thinking about it. <laughs> it just didn't want to give me another card. Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're ready. You're saying, I'm going to cut out whatever deception was in the past, you know. Wherever it wasn't clear what we were, you know, whatever you and this person, whatever conflict that y'all had and whatever bickering that y'all had between you, you're wanting to come in and you're wanting to balance that out. You're saying, I, I see this, that it was not fair between me and you and I want to come in and I want to balance that between us. You know, I want to cut out that that conflict that's because it's really weighing me down you know you could be like maybe dreaming about this person or having you know um this could be daydreaming or you know just thinking of this person in general you're trying to balance yourself out and you're like the only way i know how to balance myself out is just to extend myself and to say you know hey let's make this wrong or right what is this eight of wands think you were gonna, you're going to tell this person that you've been learning that you've been learning that you feel trapped without them wow that's bad and you've been holding on to them coming back in You've been learning during this time, and you're going to let them know. You're going to let them know, hey, I've been looking at the situation at a few different ways, a di few different, you know, than I was in the initial argument. When we first had the initial argument, and we were, you know, in that heat of the moment, I wasn't seeing it as your side, but now I'm seeing it. I was being a little stubborn. You might be saying, "This the roles can reverse, y'all. So, reverse them if that's where it places. If, if it's not you, if it's the other person, then they're seeing it. And they're saying, you know, oh, wow. I see the, I see the places that we went wrong. Hold on one second. I got the hermit, and that's like you going within, you know, and seeing exactly what it was. What are you walking away from? What is this Eight of Cups? walking away from being in hiding you know you're walking away from um leaving this on the back burner now you're like let's look at this at hand that we need to you know bring this together we need to come together and see you know the good in it we need to become you know acclimate this energy and become you know um friends again this could be a friend that you're with you know or or somebody 
from the past, definitely. This could definitely be a friend of yours. Let's see. The High Priestess. There's somebody in your energy that thinks that the roles can reverse again. Like I said, they think that this... Hmm. Somebody within them thinks that it's back and forth energy and somebody's not going to ever make a choice. And so it's not really like a missed opportunity if this doesn't come into you know, up to apology. You know, somebody, I think this is the other person, and they're thinking, you know, if this person doesn't come back in, if this tourist doesn't come back in and say, you know, what they want to say, then I'm just going to move forward because it was, it was too back and forth for me. Ouch. I'm sorry, Taurus. But there's still the Five of Cups here and the Ten of Swords in reverse. I think this person juggles it. They really... Th they felt this, too. What is that Four of Cups in reverse? Maybe you might be thinking this. Ace of Wands. New beginning. You might be like... Either way, I'm having a new beginning. Don't matter if this person comes in or not. What is this King of Wands? There's that back and forth energy again. And then we got the Five of Swords. Yes, yeah, conflict. Somebody being upset over not building. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, Taurus. I see that. So, somebody thinks that this is like a faulty ground, and they're scared to come in and speak their truth, okay? If they want a new beginning, bad, with this other person. This could be you. You could want a new beginning with someone else, okay? But just on a level, some level, you just don't see where it could be a solid foundation, okay? Because we got the tower here and the emperor in reverse and the five of swords. This is like somebody seeing that things are not going to work out, okay? And it's like, I don't know. Wow. You know... Over here, you were having somebody that you were wanting to walk towards and that you were apologizing to. And over here, I feel like this is this other person's energy. They're just thinking that Taurus will never knock back on my door. That's what this is. This is this person thinking Taurus will never knock back on my door. They will never make a... Um, a choice you know and this just it's just a missed opportunity but in the center here we have the ten of swords in reverse so we're gonna get deeper what is the fool down here It's going to be like a new beginning, but somebody's going to hold back and be a little, you know, cold. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's look at this lovers. What is this lovers? 
stalemate, not making a choice. And that's funny because stalemate, okay, so there's potential for love here. Somebody's not moving forward. That's all it is. Death. Nine of Wands. They got their guard up. Five of Cups. Three of Swords. No, that's Four of Swords. Healing. Okay, I see it. What is this Ten of Swords? Okay, so you're putting your distance between you and other people right now. There is somebody out there that you want to extend your energy to. You don't know if you could do it because this is probably the second third time that you've maybe tried to extend your energy to this person because this person totally feel they feel like you have left them completely no more you're not going back it's just done that's what they feel okay you feel like you want to extend your energy but you can't so you feel very trapped and you feel like you're out in the cold and you're like, I don't care if I'm out in the cold. I don't know why, but you're holding your truth back from somebody. You're putting your distance between the two of you. You're acting very, very cold. we got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is also, she is very cold, right? King of Swords is too. But, but they are also the truth, okay? And you are distancing yourself from speaking the truth to this person because I feel like there are a lot of frustrations within the the situation within the dynamic okay you know that you could have your happiness with this person but you also know that there is some healing or there's some soul calling that's needed to be had okay judgment is here with the hermit and the three of swords there's heal with the four of swords there's healing that needs to be had and you know if you extend your energy one more time at this moment just at this moment it might end up in the tower you know and you might not be able to build but you're being wise about it Taurus because you know this and you're sitting back and you're saying that's why you're getting creative because you know as soon as you express this feeling it's like from zero to a hundred you know it's gonna pick up fast because this person they don't know they have no idea let's see what is this person's energy towards Taurus if they came in I'm always scared Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. They would 100% allow this back in. They would juggle with you, though. They would say they would probably come at you with some questions. They would probably want to know what you know. Well, where you been? What you been doing? You know, why'd you go within? Why is this the third time, second time around? You know, that's just normal questions people would ask. But I'm telling you right now. Ten of Pentacles. That's the ultimate achievement. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel turning in your favor. You know, having a new chapter. Having a new story. Two of Cups. That's what's... You know, that would be what would... If, if you extended your energy... Because right now, you're thinking, your question, just this Halloween, if I extend my energy, will, will I be left out in the cold? Or will I be able to come in? And I have a feeling you want to come in because this, to you, feels like home. we got the two sixes here with the six of cups and the six of swords. You're moving out of a stale place in your life and you're building back up. And you're just not built up enough to extend your energy yet. But you will be. And I don't think this person is going anywhere. Because right now they really, 
I mean, as it is sitting, they don't think that you're ever coming back. And then, whenever I pulled and asked what their energy would be to you, it would be Two of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. You know? It, it, Ten of Pentacles. That's like the ultimate achievement here. Comfort, luxury, happiness. Look at them. They're sitting there and they're just happy as can be. There's loyalty in that picture. There's protection, you know? There's fruit. All the hard work and all the labor you put in, you're going to bear fruit, you know? So. If you don't extend your energy to this person, they say the sun just might not shine as bright as it would if you did. Ten of Cups. So, I mean, that's up to you. You know, you're healing, so take your time. I don't think this person's pushing you at all because this person doesn't think this is going to build anymore. And I don't think it's because of the fact that they don't want to. It's because of the fact that you just didn't extend your energy out anymore. You might you were dealing with other things. And that that's okay. We do that. We can do that. The Knight of Pentacles is here. The star. You're slowly going to move into that area where you can dream and there's going to be, you know, a place of healing. You waiting on your empress? Because you're showing up as the emperor in reverse right here. You're just not quite ready to look at them plans yet, to look at those dreams, to look at somebody else. But you have an idea of what you want. Ace of Wands, new journey, you know, new beginning in something that's going to be a beautiful setup. Make those plans and those decisions to sit like a king pretty soon because that's what's going to be happening if you go towards, probably if you go towards this person because it looks, it looks lovely, you know, but it's just, you know, there's a little bit of anxiety around the situation because I don't think somebody's ready yet and that's that's fine you don't always have to be let me reframe that you don't have to be in a rush okay all right y'all let's see I don't know let me I don't want to end that on that for the need from the universe for y'all. Let's see, let's get mine. This is a Halloween. Let's do our Halloween, the Halloween Oracle. For Taurus, advice from the universe, please. Okay, Taurus, I got you. You're being wise right now, and the universe sees you for that. 
and they see that you're bringing something to an end here and you're looking at new possibilities for the future okay you are taking a sacredness of a pausing <laughs> The winter cards here, it's like you're taking a pause right now and it's to better yourself. You know, to build build up. To build love back in your life. And I don't mean love as in two people. I mean love in general. To love the small things in life. To bring the beauty back in. Okay? Because I feel like there was something in the past that you were really hurting about and it really broke you down. But I feel you're creating through those ashes you know it burnt you and now you're creating and you're saying you know I have possibilities and the universe is saying yes you do have possibilities those possibilities are gonna come within a flash and they're saying explore those explore them because that's in your favor you know what is ended is done there's something that you, you know, I don't know if you're holding on to it or you're just not wanting to go forward, which, I mean, you're pausing, right? That's the wise thing for you to do right now. So it's kind of like, you know, you're in the hallway. You're just in the hallway and you're learning through those mirrors. Because all of the, it's it, the hallway of mirrors, it's a real thing. Whenever we leave one thing and we get out of it, we have that void and we have to go, you know, into the next journey alone. It's scary. And then you don't want to drag someone else into that hallway with you. That's what you're saying. And that's where you're coming in as the wise owl. You don't want to regret later on that you didn't heal first. And that you just plunged yourself into something. So, um, maybe, you know, talk to your ancestors. This is a perfect time for you to talk to your ancestors. Especially All Saints Day uh, on the 1st. All Souls Day is on the 2nd. I don't know it's which one's which. But, the 1st and the 2nd. All, the, all of this time right now, in Scorpio season, the veil is very thin. It's really important for us to connect to our ancestors during this time because they're listening they're watching they're waiting you know they're waiting on you to say hey and talk to them you have possibilities out there there's a lot of them just you're coming through the ashes you're building anew you're you're you just ended something we got the death here so Build, build, build. Build your strength. Something's good coming, you know? Something good is coming for you. And it will be soon. Okay, Taurus. I hope y'all have a happy Halloween. And uh, enjoy your night. Light and love to y'all. Please don't forget to like. If y'all uh, would like, please. It helps my channel out. Thank you very much. Alright, have a good night. Bye-bye.